Hello there. It's time to learn about piles, otherwise known as hemorrhoids. We're going to learn a bit about them first, then we're going to move on to treatments and how to get rid of them. Okay, so piles are little bumps in and around the anus, and interestingly, we all have them within their normal state, and their purpose is to prevent leakage. And that's probably why they're so common, because up to 80% of people have suffered from piles at some point within their lifetime. Now, the symptoms can vary from patients to patients, and also the reason we get them can vary as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave loads more information in the description below. So if you want to find out more, give it a read. But now let's learn how to get rid of those piles. Okay, so tip number one, you need to avoid using tissue paper until your piles have gone. I know it's crazy, but this one's a game changer, okay? Using tissue paper, especially when you're wiping excessively, can cause loads of micro tears in the anal tissue, okay, which is gonna cause that discomfort, which is gonna cause that inflammation and gonna help not help with the pain that you're having. Okay, and this leads us on nicely to tip number two. So, instead of using toilet paper, you need to wash around your anal area, your anus as well, with just water, okay? Gently clean the area with water. You don't need to use soap, nothing like that. Just gently clean the area and then pat it dry. This is gonna reduce the discomfort, it's gonna reduce the inflammation, and help the area heal. Now, if you have a B-day, obviously it's gonna be much easier to do, but if you don't, please don't worry. You can buy portable B-days online. You can also make your own as well. There's plenty of YouTube videos on it as well, on how to do it. So that's a great tip to start utilizing now to start healing that pile and try and get rid of it. Now moving on to tip number three, steroid and local anesthetic preparations. This is gonna help reduce the inflammation, numb the area, which is in turn all gonna help reduce the pain. Now I do tend to recommend ointments and suppositories over the cream, and also it's really important to use them after a bowel motion. All of this is basically gonna allow it to stay in the right place for longer, so it can be more effective. Now, generally speaking, you want it to contain a local anesthetic like lidocaine, for example, which is gonna help numb the area, as well as a steroid, so for example, like hydrocortisone, which is gonna help reduce the inflammation on the area. But please do remember, it's always super important that you speak to your pharmacist first before purchasing any type of medication so they can make sure you're safe and suitable to use it and advise you how to use it properly and give you the best possible treatment as well. Let's go to the next scene. So moving on to tip number four, it's all about soft stools. And we need to do everything we can to make our stools soft to reduce the pressure on the piles and reduce the overall pain. So here's what you need to do. You need to make sure you're having six to eight glasses of water a day. You need to make sure you're having plenty of fiber. All of these are gonna help keep your stool soft. If you do suffer from constipation, if you are getting hard stools all the time, I do have a video all about how to get rid of constipation, which I'd highly recommend you watch if you do have piles and hemorrhoids. I'll leave a link to it up here and in the description below. And moving on to tip number five, it's all about a cold compress. This can help reduce the blood flow to the area and help shrink the pile, especially when it's really, really painful. I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time. Just do it once in a while, whenever the pain is really bad, just get an ice pack or something like that, wrap it in a tea towel, place it in the area for a couple of minutes. You don't have to do it really often and make sure you wrap it in a tea towel and do not place ice or anything cold directly to the area. So it looks like we've come to the end. I really hope my tips help. Always remember you're awesome and I will see you next week.